Is it working? Is it working? Okay, it's on. Cool. All right, y'all. Different kind of little video today. Thought I would take a little minute and show y'all my little mask collection I got going here. I'm going to start off with the Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees with the dark around the eyes right here. Pretty cool and pretty cool. Had the lunchbox with all the movies inside of it in one big package. It's pretty cool as well. Had to snag that up. We've got our black finish hockey mask here. Now the cool thing about these two right here is that they're made of like solid plastic. So they're pretty hard. They're pretty, they're pretty, you know, they're good material as opposed to these guys over here. These were like some cheap fucking, like, I don't even know what this material is, but they're super thin. They bend easily. They're just really shitty quality, but they still look really cool. So I figured I'd keep them on the, on the desk and whatnot. So there's these guys, got the collection of Jasons. And down here we have another Jason right here. We have our replica solid rosin mask, heavy duty. I bought this back in about 2015 or 2016 at FYE over at Crossroads Mall. And it's held up really good till then, or since then. Pretty cool, man. Cannot complain one bit. Let's take this guy back on the shelf. We have our V for Vendetta replica as well. Boom, boom, boom. Also made out of solid rosin. It's got the pads in the back and the straps. My buddy John wore this last Halloween to a party and then he texted me later that night. He's like, yo man, people love this mask. Thanks for letting me wear it. I'm like, I appreciate the fact that you're appreciating it. <laughs> so these guys sit up here. Boom. We got this guy right here that was given to me by my brother, Josh. Shout out to Scooby. Love you, man. Thank you. Thanks again for the mask. I'm sure you all have seen some of these around. They just go right on top of your head like a cap, and they're pretty cool. The cool thing is, like, if you put a hoodie on and throw the hood over, you can't even tell. People can't even tell you're wearing a mask until, like, you're right on them. So it's nice and creepy. This is like a night mask. You wear this during the day, it's going to look kind of weird. But I don't know. This cool mask. I dig it. Sits up on a shelf still. Gotta love it. Should probably name him Freddy. And over here we have Humam and Dina. Love you guys. They tied the knot last uh, last year. And I was a part of that wedding. Very cool. Super happy for them. Love them to death. Bringing it on over here. We have our jester mask right here. I guess you could call this an early art the clown. But I don't, I don't know. I found it at Walgreens for like five bucks. And I was like, that's super creepy. I love it. And I brought it home. And this is the lick mask. I call it the lick mask because people usually wear this when they hit licks around here. <laughs> I'm sure y'all have seen that around. We have an early Joey Jordison. At least that's what it's supposed to be, but it's too plasticky and too like, yeah, it's not a Caesar, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But still, it's creepy, fits up on the shelf nicely. And then we have a Michael Myers, pretty basic version over here with just a strap, no back, no hood, no nothing. This was like $10 at a local Halloween shop. And my friends were like, hey, you should buy that for the party. And I was like, fuck it, why not? So I did. And it still sits here years later. We have this guy over here. I bought this guy with a gift card on Amazon that I got from my grandparents. So I bought some like, I bought some new knives and bought this mask. And I, I was really wondering like, my FBI agent must love this fucking list. <laughs> anyway, so we got that. That's really cool. I love the design. I'm pretty sure I'm wearing that in my Halloween post on Instagram last year. We have our half ghostly, half whatever the fuck. Got our... All Hope is Gone Clown in its most basic form. I love this because it's super uncanny and super just, oh, it's creepy as hell. I love it. Got our little stitch mouth right here. Cool, cool. Got the two wolves right here. The cool thing about this one is that my cousin on Mother's Day back in 2013 or 2014, somewhere around there, I was, uh, we were celebrating Mother's Day at my grandma's house and she has like a woods, she has a forest in her backyard and I was out there chilling in a hammock and then my cousin threw this like giant like wolf <laughs> costume on. And so I'm chilling. I all of a sudden hear some rustling leaves. I peek up and this thing is fucking running at me. And yeah, I was scared shitless. <laughs> he got me. He really did. But then afterwards we laughed and he gave me these masks. And I'm like, yeah, I'll put them in the collection. Hell yeah. And here they sit to this day. God, they're so creepy. I love it. Got a little skeleton and another skeleton. This was actually the first mask I bought. I bought it in 2014 at Meyer, or Myers for those Midwesterners here. 
bought it at Myers back in 2014 and it's been here ever since. Pretty cool. Got our little horror movie selection down here. And my book selection, don't judge me. Let's go right in my room. And last but not least, we have our Freddy Krueger Deluxe, still with the tag on it, in pretty good condition still. We have an OG Jason Voorhees right here, made out of the same material as the other two. The two good ones, the black and the dark, the dark eyes, is what I'm talking about. Same material, cool mask. Anyways, we got our OG ghost face right here. My whole theme with this uh, area was to make it like all the like slasher killers from the movies. Like down here, we got Jigsaw, or not Jigsaw, uh, Billy the Puppet Mask. I love it. When the light hits it just right, you can kind of see like, oh, yep, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> That's cool. It's super creepy. And then we have Michael Myers Halloween Kills Mask right here. My brother Derek actually got this for me at Christmas when I moved in. It was pretty cool. Pretty kind of a man. Shout out to D-Rex. Love you, man. And last but not least, we have our somewhat all hope is gone leather clown. It looks like someone started like retouching it up and then just never finished it. And I was like, screw it, I'll take it. So I'm either going to finish it one of these days or I'm just going to have someone else do it. And yes, the zipper does work, but it's not the same. I can't do it with one hand, but it, I promise you it does work. Yeah, I'm just not even going to try that. But yeah, that's my little mask collection. Thanks for watching, guys.